The game camera is used to ensure that the proper bits of your levels take center stage. You can find them on the tools page of your tools bag, so why not put one in the world and have a look? Use the left stick and the menu button to open up the game camera's tweak menu. The first thing to do is to set up your shot, so select angle and zoom. Pan the shot around with the left stick. Tilt your shot with the right stick. If you make a mistake, you can push the sticks in to reset the shot and start over. Zoom the shot in and out with the left shoulder buttons and roll the camera with the right shoulder buttons. Once you've set it up how you like, press the action button to make it so. Most cameras are triggered by player proximity. To customize the activation area for your camera, tweak the zone. Use the left stick to move the zone around and the right stick to resize it. The left shoulder buttons move the zone back and forth and the right shoulder buttons make the zone thicker and thinner. Once it's right, press the action button. The Adjust Player Tracking Tweak allows you to customize how much the camera will concentrate on a player's movement. At 100%, it will keep track of your players pretty closely. But at 0%, it will completely ignore them and leave your shot exactly how you set it up. If you want your shot to change based on the game camera's physical angle, tweak local space to yes. Otherwise, your view will remain stable no matter what the camera is doing. And for a bit of extra drama, you can make the camera shake a little, or a lot. If you don't want the camera to activate until all the players are in its zone, use the Require All Players tweak. If you want your camera to be triggered by logic instead, you can change how it will behave with the input action tweak. In the focus category, you can adjust your shot's depth of field and whether this changes relative to players. Finally, you can turn Z relative camera on if you want the shot to adjust based on the camera's position in the layers. <laughs>